Thank you, Captain Flowers. I am here with Tactical from Team Liquid. All right, five games in that series. Game three, TL, 12K lead, goes to 100 Thieves. Game four, 100 Thieves have control, goes to TL after sneaking a Baron. What were these moments like for you when it was going so back and forth and could change in an instant? Honestly, I can't remember like the games, all the games clearly, but I remember there was one game we were playing Calista LeBlanc and we threw. Um, that was definitely our game to win. And we should have just played a bit more cleaner and should have should have won. And I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just in the moment. There's like a lot of calls, the calls in the game, and um, it's just like based off the information you have, we just do sp sp like sporadic calls. Um, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm like too excited right now. Well, it sounds like Team Liquid is having to focus on a lot, right? Not only are you here in playoffs, but you're bringing out these different drafts. I know that Cold was saying in the episode of Squad that you're focusing on trying to stay ahead of the curve and always thinking forward. How is that like for you having to balance bringing out new picks as a team while also just focusing on perfecting what you need to for playoffs? Yeah, so <clears throat> I do think we figured out how we want to play and we just had this draft around it. So um, throughout the whole playoffs, we've just had drafts we were pretty satisfied with, and how we're playing too, is, I'm pretty happy with too. I know that you're saying that there was a lot of chaos in the comms, and we've talked before about how people like Core JJ are often leading the voice here. How are comms feeling now in playoffs with this kind of high level of intensity compared to the regular season when you're taking it game by game? Definitely everyone is a lot more urgent in the calls. Like everyone's saying, it's not like I think this is happening. They're like, this is happening. Don't do this, don't do that, or like, like, for the most part, our comms are pretty calm. It's just like in the really intense, tense moments, we just had a higher voice, I guess. But it wasn't like everyone's yelling at the same time. It's just like mm -hmm. a lot of urgency and like priority in the comms. Yeah. I mean, this series called for a lot of urgency. Yeah. That's for sure. So you've had a few playoffs under your belt now. This is your second year in the LCS. You have faced multiple teams here in this run. What do you feel like you are gaining from series to series now that you are inching towards that veteran side and farther away from your rookie year? Um, it's pretty interesting. Honestly, I'm kind of getting used to the playoffs and like high stakes games. I was pretty calm for the most part, most games, except for when we do, when we did do the big throw. I was pretty stressed after that, but after we won game four, I was like pretty calm again. I think everyone, I think that's how I felt with everyone probably, because uh, everyone's veterans here. I guess I can include myself as a fellow veteran soon, so. Yeah, working your way there, Tactical. Now, at this point, you have faced off against C9, TSM, 100 Thieves. I know in that same episode of Squad Alfari was saying that he wasn't as impressed by 100 Thieves. He thought C9 and TSM were going to be more threats. Having the experience in best ofs against all three, who do you think is the biggest threat that will be joining you in the grand finals of the LCS here in summer? It's pretty hard to say out of the three who's going to be the best. I mean, definitely there was more volatility in their games today than the other series, but I still think it's there's no really like preference to who to play against. I think we could be against everyone pretty comfortably um, as long as we're on the game and we just don't make uh, like really dumb mistakes. Keep yourself away from the mistakes and towards the victories, Tactical. Thank you so much for joining me for this interview. Go ahead and do your thing. Everybody, we are going to kick it to a brief preview of our next episode of Next Level. And then after the break, we will have our State Farm Analyst Desk getting you ready to wrap up the day. We'll see you there.